Good evening, everybody. So okay. our only item of business really is to approve the minutes from last month's meeting. Does anybody have any comments about the minutes? No. Nope. Nope. All in favor of accepting the minutes, say aye. 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 Uh, great. Um, does anybody have any other business? I don't have any news to speak of that I can think of. I forwarded to you the messages about land being protected up on Mount Esther. Um, so that was good. Uh, nothing. Be quiet, months. Yeah. Scott, right. you 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 heard about um, what happened at Marianne Simon's house? No. Nicholas talked to you, maybe not in detail. What? Well, re refresh me. Yeah, she had a um, her her downstairs bathroom was flooding, and so she called um, Don's Don the plumber, and um, one of his employees came out, not Don himself, and it turned out it wasn't the bathroom; it was uh, it was a uh, um, gutter that was just draining. Uh, it had a pipe that went into the ground, and that pipe was full of mud, and so it was just running into the bathroom. Mm. But instead of replacing that pipe, um, he attached a pipe and, and ran it straight out into the brook all the way across yes. the backyard. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and she watched him putting it in and thought, I'm uncomfortable with this. But she didn't say anything. She thought, he's the expert. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then the very next day, um, I was walking by with my dog and I and uh, went into her yard to let the dog cool off in the brook, as we sometimes do. And I saw this whole production. Mm. So I called her up and asked her, what's going on with that pipe going into the brook, Marianne? Um, and she told me the story and she had already asked Nicholas to come and look at it because she thought it was weird. Yeah. Um, and uh, and and Nicholas and I both said, yeah, that doesn't that's not right. Um, and um, and so somebody from Don's Plumbing came back and took it out. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Nicholas did talk to me about it, but he didn't mm -hmm. say whose house it was. So um, when you when you brought up the name, I didn't ring any bells. But yeah, you know I confirmed with him. Huh? You know where her house is? I, I assume it's on Westbrook Road, but I don't know which. No, one's... it's actually it's the last house before you get into Hatfield, right by the bridge down there, across from that new house. Oh, okay. Oh. Right on the brook at the bottom of the hill. All right. On which side of the road? Um, on the Westbrook Road side of the road. West side. Okay. On Chestnut Plain. Yes. Yeah. It's the it's like two Chestnut Plain Road. Okay. Yeah. Um well, thanks for um for keeping an eye on that. That sounds really weird. I can't believe a plumber would do that, but I guess they're used to working indoors rather than outdoors. So they may yeah, not it wasn't run really into a that. plumbing. It wasn't really a plumbing issue. It was more a gutter issue. The gutter issue, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad it's been taken care of. Um, it it sounds like it would be better. You know that the weird thing is, is you said it was full of mud and stuff, right? Um, that's that's what she said. That the um the gutter drained into something that went into the ground, and instead of dispersing the water, um, it couldn't because it was just. It was full of mud, so they took out that old pipe. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes roof runoff is considered relatively clean, and you know, so often when you're trying to manage stormwater, you try to segregate the roof runoff from other kinds of runoff to keep the clean water clean and the dirty water dirty. But uh, that's a very weird thing to sort of run a pipe all the way across the yard to put it into a stream somewhere. Yeah, I was concerned about two things. One was the water going into the brook, but two was um, them putting in a lot more pipe than she needed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks for filling me in. I didn't know half of that story. <laughs> now, Scott, I know the town had put up a warning that there could be a release from the uh, Northampton Reservoir up on- uh, There was. Yeah. Was there a release? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can still see <clears throat> Westbrook is still super high <clears throat> from that. Yeah, it sounded like the warning came out after the release happened, but I couldn't really tell for sure. Um, 
but I, I had a meeting this week, last week, I can't remember now, I think last week, with some people from USGS related to something totally different, but <clears throat> they're ones that were working up on Westbrook, or they have people up there working on Westbrook, you know, part of the fish study, but they're also doing a hydrology study, <clears throat> a hydraulic study of the of the brook. So they have a lot of uh, sensors and, and uh, they basically were amazed at the amount of water that was coming down the brook. <clears throat> and I mentioned that, yeah, the reservoir had done a release. And then they told me the story about Avery Brook, which runs into the reservoir. So it's not really affected by the release. And I don't know if you've ever been up in that area above the reservoir, but there was uh, a whole lot of really interesting looking mill works up there, mm -hmm. the foundations of old mills. Yeah. And uh, I remember the one time I was up there, I was really intrigued and wanted to go back someday to see if I could figure out, you know, what the setup was, because there was so much sort of elaborate stonework there. Well, based on the reports I got, it's gone. Uh, basically, Avery Brook washed it all away. Oh, wow. <clears throat> and that there was a dam up there as well, and the dam is gone too. Um, so I'm wondering if that's what caused the release, was that a sudden influx of water when that dam burst, mm -hmm. uh, that the reservoir people had to do something sort of immediately in order to avoid a bigger problem. That's just my conjecture after having hear, heard the stories of, of, of just how much water was coming down Avery Brook and, and the fact that it took out, I guess, a fairly decent sized dam up there. Wow. Yeah. yeah, well, if this isn't a year to try to turn some of the climate change skeptics, I don't know what will be. I mean, Steering heat in places and wildfires and smoke and you know all kinds of storms and flooding and mm -hmm. there's like hardly any part of the globe untouched by a by it this year. We had that tornado watch. I don't remember having one of those before. Yeah, yeah, crazy. All right. Well, I guess I can let you go. Get your supper if you haven't had it yet. Um, Thanks for turning out. Such a great turnout for a meeting with almost nothing on the agenda. These are the fun meetings to come to. Um, anyway, enjoy the rest of July and we'll see you at the end of August.